going on guys this is another quick tip video so I was working on my carbon 2.5 and the issue had arisen that the BL heli program could not find motor number three it just wouldn't show up now inside of this quad I've got an Acon BL heli 32 PDB it's a four-in-one so immediately I was thinking oh my god I got to completely rebuild this whole quad this sucks here's what I ended up doing so we established the fact that it couldn't find motor 3 but if I were to unplug and plug a battery back into it with just the quad on its own you can see that the PDB activated and all four motors gave a little tweak if you notice your quad usually does that it's just kind of the PDB establishing where the motor is. So because it did that, I kind of figured that the PDB was okay and it was an issue with the wire. And the way this flight controller hooks to this PDB, there's a couple of Molexes with wires in between them that hook into the pin headers. So I decided to take out motor three and motor four and swap the wires and then run it again. And when I did that, it solidified my thoughts. Motor three, the actual motor was running as it wasn't before. And motor four stopped running, which was running before. And then if you look at the program, it was still telling me motor three, or at least ESC three, could not be found. So what I deduced from that was that the PDB was fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It was definitely something in connection. The wiring to the PDB was okay because, well, it activated that motor just fine. So what I think it happened in the F722 from Maytech, there's something wrong with the pin header. I think there's a, whether it's a break in the soldering or something to that effect. So what I did was I switched back the motor wires and then I took out the one for motor three and I cut it. I flipped over the flight controller and on the base of the flight controller and usually flight controllers that do have this kind of pin header style, they also have pads that you can solder to. I went ahead and so uh, took the motor three wire, kind of held that off to the side. I hooked the whole quad back up to BL Heli, inserted the battery, and then tap the motor three wire onto the motor three pad. And the at that point, the uh, PDB, even though it was activated with the battery, it will reactivate itself and recheck all the motors. And it checked all four. Once again, we knew that was not a problem. So then I went into the problem, uh, went into the program and clicked, uh, clicked on it to try to find out if motor three was working and voila, motor three was working. So the simple fix is I cut the the little, uh, the little pin on the end of the wire and soldered that wire directly to the motor three pad. I wanted to do L4 at this point, but the other ones were working and it's kind of like one of those, if it's not broke, don't fix it thing. And you know, at that point I'm thinking, well, if I'm gonna do all four motor wires, why don't I just do the whole thing? So I just soldered the one wire. Anyway, the quad is fixed, it is flyable, and that's the tip for the day. If you have a PDB that's a four-in-one that you've just hooked everything all together and things are not working, don't be afraid to take out and switch motor wires. Don't be afraid to just pull the motor wire out, activate your quad, get the program ready to rip and then just tap the wire onto the pad and then click your program in and that should locate it. Uh, if switching the wires or putting the wire directly to a pad doesn't get your ESC going, then it might be a problem with the PDB. So there you go. Anyway, I'll catch you later.